Hey guys, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. I finally figured out how to make video mashups. I can make record different clips at a time and not have to worry about uploading them in different parts. I just want to take a good look at this Admiral before she goes in the permanent hole. I do, however, have to slide this freaking uh, this carrier freaking case out of here too. But it's kind of ghetto, but it worked. I just got done getting all this freaking coated in black to make it look cool and preserve it as well. Can't believe how dirty that got in the bottom already. Just removing it. But yeah, freaking see a, a full factory charge on her, dude. Not even joking. New fucking motor, and that motor that Kenny had laying around. Fucking KB had this motor in his garage for like three years, and he pulled two out and said, maybe we can make one of these work. And the one I was looking at was, we're about ready to go to the hardware store to make a kit for it. And I'm like, you know, let's look at the other one quick too before we make a decision. And that one was the same diameter and had the same fucking mounting holes. And no capacitor, so I wired it right into the switch, and she runs fucking beautifully. Everything works 100% factory the way it's supposed to. This whole coil gets ice cold, and it blows ice cold. Some of you know because you guys watched the video yesterday on it. It's fucking awesome. I can see if I can get that more clear. There you go. See if I got, I think I might have uh, newer looking knobs in that box of parts I got off Brian Mullins a few years ago. But yeah, everything works 100% the way it's supposed to. Bring it back the way I had it. Oh, yeah, I had comfort stat. Yeah, comfort stat off. Yep. I'll get the name plate before I put it back in the case. 10,600 BTUs. Oh, no shit, it does. Oh, that's LRA, never mind. I thought, I thought it did say the actual. Yeah, don't tell you, it just says charge under five pounds. Don't tell you exactly what to put in, which is a real pain in the ass. Which rolls 1,380 watts, so that's like an 8.5 energy efficiency rating. Not bad for the era. Draws 12 amps, 115 volts on 60 hertz, which is standard for US. I'm trying to see if we can look in here. Oh, this is easy as shit to get into it. You have to slides over, slides over, pops right out. It's all fiberglass construction on the inside. She's clean. That back in at the. That's it. This thing is fucking clean. <laughs> huh, that was on that one motor that we were gonna, he was gonna throw it away, but I'm gonna try to make a paint mixer with it. Seen something similar at Home Depot, I think it'll work. Got that drained out so the condensate drains right out. Yeah, my bad. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, drain hole's all ready to go from the condensate pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and we are going to slide this unit into the case. And next time you look at this, it's going to be, and I just took the pause and removed that carrier the grill. So it's see hundred percent ready to go in. Yeah. One thing I have to say before this, while this goes in, this cart works out pretty, almost pretty much perfectly. <laughs> Makes it way easier. I got the grill. All ready to go as well. All right, guys, she's 100% in. Uh, I do have it plugged in, but I don't think I'm going to run it like that. I think I'm going to wait. I have to move that 220 volt outlet over to the fetters. And this is a 110 volt line that goes to my fire pit with an electric wire out my fire pit. So I'm going to cut that and put a uh, J box in there and splice it up and put a 110 volt outlet here for the Admiral. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire it up for the first time. I'll fire it up for the first time with the grill off, pause it and put the grill back on and we'll get a full view. Um, I don't think, I, it's gonna be a while, I'll be a little bit till I do it. So I'm gonna pause it for, I'm not gonna pause it, I'm gonna stop it. And then when I get back, we're just gonna merge the two videos together with that software I have. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'll be back in a jiffy. 
Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, got the outlet moved. Fetters is all hooked up on its own now too. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is fire this up for the first time in its new home. This thing here is pretty cool. This thing here is neat too. Open it up to let it breathe. Yeah, I'm already zoomed out. That's badass, man. It really is. I'm gonna get that fucking glare out, out the way. It's fucking annoying. Time's moving air around already. Keep doing it until I get around without it fucking jumping. Why the fuck is it jumping? It's fucking annoying. Uh. Oh, comfort stat works, you can tell. What we're gonna do now is, uh... Let's hear it. Build head pressure pretty quick. Has the thermostat maxed all the way out already? I wonder if I can tweak it so it gets colder than 65 though. I still gotta insulate the garage. The garage ain't insulated or freaking drywalled up. Even putting a fucking uh, tarp up there would help. Like a, like a uh, drop cloth to. Yeah. I'm glad it's finally done. This thing kicks ass. Not even joking. Legitimately, it's not one of the most badass ones I got. This is definitely on like top, top five probably. This one. The roller's moving. Why is it stalling out? That's a fucking camera, not the air vein. The air veins are fine. It's my fucking piece of shit phone. I'm gonna throw you and smash you in a million fucking pieces if you stall out one more time. Alright. I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and we'll do a, uh, see if I can get my temp gun working. We'll see if we can do a temp check with it as soon as uh, this phone stops acting like a little fucking piece of shit. I gotta stop the video before I smash it. The phone, not the air conditioner. The air conditioner is safe. Hey guys, the uh, battery on my temp gun is, is uh, dead. I don't have any battery, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, continue. I have the comfort stat, not the comfort stat, the cycle air turned off aiming in that direction right now just because I'm kind of like ghetto engineering a um, drop cloth just to keep the just to keep from blowing up into the attic. Cycle, turn the cycle air back on just so you can see it again. The comfort stat's like an energy saver, so right now if the thermostat kicks off, it'll shut the fan off too. I just wanted to run from now and, you know, see what it can do, so. Like I said, that's not a permanent solution, but it'll help for now. I'm just cutting around everything, stapling it up. Like it's a totally ghetto, but oh well. Between that and the freaking uh, fetters, I am in business in here now. Take a look at Let's see what the temp is. Should be cooling down. It's freaking hot out, too. 70. All right, let's take, take a walk out back. Oh, yeah.
That drain hole works perfectly. It's funny how it lined up right with that, but it's just missing it, which is good. Hmm. Between these two. Two dueling AJ to come to AJ's dueling in unison together. Awesome sound. Get one from that end. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do believe that's all I got for now. Um, so keep doing, we'll do a temp check on it eventually, but for now just know that it's working perfectly to factory specifications. Full charge, fan mode replaced, not one issue whatsoever. I don't want to fuck with this too much because I don't want to turn it off, but... Oh, I'm really looking forward to see what you guys have to say about this one. Like I said, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share, whatever. Do whatever you gotta do. I'm curious, I'm very uh, curious on feedback for this one. And also, before I call it quits, uh, I want to thank KB for all his help and all you guys for uh, your advice throughout the process when I was running into you know, trouble with the restoration, especially with the fan motor issues. Like I said I always appreciate you guys' feedback and your support through going on 10 years now almost. Well, starting with the Flickr guys anyway. YouTube is five years, six years? But yeah, man, anyway, a long ass time. This community's come a long, long way. So, guys, keep up the great work, and I'm still looking forward to future videos and seeing what you guys come up with. Anyway, guys, AC guy here. Peace out, brothers.